Hi, my name is Nick Charette. We're here at Concord Auto Spa, and today we're going to tell you how to clean a pretty dirty interior. First, you'd start with vacuuming the interior, and then we'd wipe down all of the vinyl surfaces, and after that is done, we will shine all the vinyl surfaces with a protectant, and it also makes it look a little better. Um, if you have cloth seats, we will shampoo the seats if they're leather, we'll clean them and condition them. We will shampoo the carpets and the floor, and then finally, we will do all of the windows on the inside, and we also like to do a complimentary wash. All right, we're gonna start off showing you how to vacuum. Um, we usually start with the seats and then we move to the floors. So you just wanna get in every little crevice and try to pretty much go top to bottom and uh, get everything you can see. Make sure you flip the uh, seat back all the way and get in there. And then once that's all set, you move right onto the floor. Try to go top to bottom here too, so you're not double backing on yourself. All right, now once you're done vacuuming very thoroughly, get all the dust, all the little crevices that you can. Um, we move on to cleaning all the vinyl and surface areas with a general purpose cleaner. You can pick this up pretty much anywhere, Walmart, any auto parts store. Simple Green works great. This one is an um, industrial one that we get. Um, it's all the same. Uh, so you just mist it on. You can mist it on the actual surface or on the cloth. It's up to you, personal preference. You let it sit and work for a little bit to try to get the grime that you can and can't see because most of the times you can't see it all. And uh, you just work it in there with the cloth. Make sure you wipe everything. Um, you can also take a brush and get in every little, sur every little crevice. Uh, most of the time you can't see it all, as I said, so a brush is a really good idea. And you just you wipe it until it's dry, until it's clean. You might have to do it again, but it depends on how dirty the vehicle is. And, uh, and you, once you're done one section, you move on to the next. And after this, we will have to uh, shampoo. In this case, we have to shampoo the seats and the carpet. And then we will follow it up with cleaning the windows. Now we're going to move on to the shampooing of the vehicle. Most people don't do this as often to, as they should, but we really recommend you do it at least once a year. Um, grime that you can't see builds up and it just compounds on, on itself. So we like to start with the seats first. That's the trickiest part. Um, you easiest way to do it for a real beginner is just lay the seat all the way back and that's the way you have the flattest surface to work with and you just start top to bottom. With ours we have a carpet extractor. We press this lever and it shoots out a hot solution to help break up the dirt and then you just suck it up after. So I'll show you how it's done. All right, after vacuuming, cleaning the interior, um, all the vinyl surfaces, shampooing all the surfaces that you can, and shining and protecting it, we lastly do the windows. Um, we use a general glass cleaner. You can use Windex, whatever you'd like, um, that you can pick up at your local store. Um, you, you spray a little bit of concentrate on it. Let it sit for a little bit, you know, at least five seconds to let it help get rid of the gunk on it. And then you take a nice towel. We have industrial window cleaning towels, but you can use pretty much any kind of towel that you'd like. Microfiber towels work well. And we like to box out the window twice and apply lots of pressure as much as you can and then come back and fill it in. And then you flip the rag over and you do it again just to get all the streaks and whatever you may have missed. And then you like to take a look at the window from an angle to make sure that you have not missed anything. And at that point, you'd move to the outside window because you want it all to look great. Once again, you spray it on, let it sit, box it out, fill it in, and then wipe it down. That's all there is to it. Now that the windows are done, the interior is finished being cleaned. We have vacuum, 
We have cleaned all the surfaces. We've shampooed everything that we can. We've cleaned the windows, like I just said. We've protected everything. And it's a pretty difficult process, but if you have the time and the equipment, it can be done. If you have the know-how, it can be done. It's not really that hard once you get to it. Um, it really is something that you should be doing.